Hi, um, welcome and thank you for being on uh, this first try at doing a virtual regional meeting um, and convention orientation. My name is Meredith. I'm on the Bishop's staff. I do communications at, in the diocesan office. And I'm going to um, be sort of moving us from event to event during this meeting. And we're going to be starting off with a convention orientation. This is for anyone who is attending convention for the first time or just wants a refresher. Um, just a couple of quick housekeeping announcements. Um, if you haven't noticed, you are muted. So that means we can't hear you. Um, but you can use the chat box at the bottom of your screen um, to type a question or a comment at any time. And I would be delighted to read it out so that our presenters can um, respond to your questions and comments. Um, I'd also note uh, that we are recording this meeting for folks to view in the future. And I just want you to be aware of that when you share and comment. Um, and with that, I will turn it over to our Secretary of Convention, uh, the Reverend John Martinicchio. Okay. Good evening and welcome to this first virtual orientation. I'm John Martinicchio. I'm the Con Secretary of Convention. I'm also the Vice Chair of the Diocesan Board and I'm Rector of St. Paul's Church in Endicott. So welcome. I'd like to begin our orientation with a definition of what convention is. The definition that I come up with is diocesan convention is a time when representatives from around the diocese gather to share in the polity of the church, upholding the common mission and ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. All are welcome to join us as we worship, conduct business, view and listen to presentations, socialize, and network. <clears throat> if you want a purpose of convention, the purpose that we gather is to elect, approve, adopt, and ultimately enact resolutions that are considered for us to vote on. If you're not familiar with it, on the diocesan website is the journal of convention proceedings. Each convention has its own journal and you can go on the diocesan website in order to obtain the journals from previous years and look at what we have discussed and what we have um, resolved by vote of convention. All clergy are required to attend convention and all clergy that are in the diocese do have voice and vote. And if the clergy aren't going to be at convention, they need to ask the bishop for an excuse. As you know, each parish is allotted a certain amount of delegates. And this is passed by resolution by convention. And it's based upon the number of communicants that each parish has. If you have less than 300 communicants, you are allotted two delegates. From 301 to 500 communicants, you are allotted three. And if you are over 500 communicants, you are allotted four. All delegates have voice and vote, and all delegates must be 18 years of age or older, a confirmed communicant, regular attendance in worship, as well as regular support of the parish, and it all is contingent upon 12 months prior to being chosen as a delegate. And the certificate of delegates are due in the bishop's office by May 31st. If you were to lose a voice and vote, you would mean that you would either be in arrears for your assessment to the diocese or your um, payment to the church pension fund. If you're in arrears for your assessment or your church pension fund, there's two ways to get out of that. One is to pay it up, basically. <laughs> or the second is to ask the diocesan board uh, for forgiveness or to petition them for relief from part of your assessment. <clears throat> Every member that comes to convention has one vote. And one of the neat things about our convention is that we vote 
by colors or cards. One card is red for to decline the vote or to say no, and the other is green um, for a positive vote. We can, if we need to, vote by orders, which would be a vote in a clerical order or vote in a lay order. Um, very seldom do we have to do that. Every once in a while, though, we do have to hold our cards up in order for them to be counted by the tellers when the votes are very close. Our vote is a majority vote, and a quorum is 20 clergy and 20 parishes. And that's the way that it has been for time and time again. The regional meetings that we hold each year are basically a canonical requirement of the budget hearing, but probably more importantly, a time to gather with the bishop and with each other and ask questions of our bishop about the life of the diocese and for our bishop to spend time with us to share her vision and mission of the diocese with each and every one of us. Every year, if you get a mailing for a convention, you notice that there are open positions, both for clergy and laity, and they have to do with the diocesan board, which is basically the vestry of the diocese. The standing committee, which deals with property issues, consent of bishops, and the canonical matters when it comes to the ordination process. Also, we have the disciplinary board, which deals with any Title IV proceedings that were to come up that need to be dealt with. Next year, we will ask for people to be elected to attend general convention, which will be in 2021, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 2021, three, every three years. Um, and dress is ca business casual um, for a convention. Every once in a while we pick a color, but this year we have chosen not to have a specific um, color for a convention. That's because we're having t-shirts. Because we're having t-shirts. <laughs> One of the things that we do at convention is resolutions. And there is a resolutions committee which fields the resolutions. But if you look at Webster's Dictionary, what does it say about resolutions? It says about eight definitions. The first one is that an act or process of resolving something or breaking it up into constituent parts or elements. It's resolving or determining or deciding of the matter a resolute quality of mind, a formal statement of opinion or determination adopted by an assembly or other formal group, a solving of a puzzle or answering as of a question or a solution. That part of a drama or narrative in which the plot is unraveled, the disappearance of swelling fever or other manifestation of a disease. Or the last definition is the passing of a dissident cord. If you look at Black's Law Dictionary, it states in part the following. As a part of parliamentary law, it is a main motion that formally expresses the sense, will, or action of a deliberate assembly. The resolutions that come forward are really <laughs> highly formal in that they have a main motion containing a preamble or one or more resolving clauses. When someone submits a resolution to convention, it goes to the resolution committee, which makes sure that it's in canonical form and has the proper parts, but also has an explanation as to why the resolution has been brought forward. We need to remember, though, that we're not voting on the explanation, we're voting on the resolution. So when it comes to actually the vote of convention, we remove the explanation from the resolution and only consider the resolution. Resolutions can be joint, which means that they are considered by both houses. They can be brought together by one individual or by 
several individuals as to whatever is important to them and they want convention to consider. Every once in a while, some of the resolutions are constitutional or canon in nature, kind of doing housekeeping in the way that we are governed by our canons and constitutions. This year, we will read resolutions that have to do with what General Convention has passed and how it affects our life as a diocese. Resolutions can be offered in support of an identified initiative or a cause. Resolutions can be offered to adopt resolutions that have been passed by General Convention. So the resolution goes to the resolution committee, and then on Friday evening at 7.30, there is a resolution hearing in which people can go and speak to the resolutions that are being offered. The resolutions can be retrieved at the regional meetings, or they will be included in the mailing that comes out or on the diocesan website. At the resolution hearing, after that, the resolution committee decides how the action should be taken. So they will offer a recommendation. Should the resolution be recommended? Is the resolution brought forth without a recommendation or has the, um, the resolution committee rejected it? We only vote on resolutions um, as I have said, because we take out the explanation. Convention does not have to follow the recommendation of the committee. Convention is allowed to have its own voice and vote um, to the resolution. And you will be given at the time of the actual resolution vote to be able to speak to each resolution for a specific period of time. And when your time is up, the bell rings. Once a resolution is brought forth, it is asked for a second. So someone from the floor goes to a microphone and seconds the resolution. And then there is a discussion. And then the bishop calls for the vote. And we all vote with our cards, either green or red. So ultimately, all of these resolutions bring adoption, amendment, withdrawal or rejection. It is the will of convention that prevails. So it is however that body operates and however the body votes, that is the will of convention and how the resolution is enacted and how the resolution um, determines our life in the future. We do have a bookstore at the exhibit hall and there are different exhibits that are in the exhibit hall from individual parishes that have a specific mission or ministry. Um, the Mission of Miracles has a table. There are some people who bring liturgical wear, vestments, books, um, things like that in order to sell that you, can, that you can purchase. Does anybody have any questions? And let, if you have questions or comments, um, the best way to share them is to type them into the chat box, please. Did I forget anything? Anybody? There you go. Do you mean to make a clarification about the um, resolutions have to be put in by a delegate? It's not just the okay. meeting? One thing that I did forget to mention is that resolutions need to be brought forth to convention by a delegate of convention. Okay. Well, if we don't have any questions, um, we're going to pause here. We will be back at seven o'clock for our uh, regional meeting, uh, which will be a budget hearing um, and as well as a Q and A with our bishop. Um, so hang in. We'll be back in about 15 minutes to start the regional meeting. Um, if you have any questions or comments in the meantime, um, you can type them into our chat and we'll answer you either in the meeting or by chat. Um, and I think that's everything. So we're going to turn off our sound now. Um, 
but we will be here. You can hang in and we'll be back at seven o'clock. Thank you.